Hey guys, good morning. I'm live here on the site of the Holy Rosary Institute here in Lafayette. This is the proposed site for a potential future library here on the northeast end of town. Now there's money that was set aside in the budget for a library to be built. It's been talked about for years. So what's the holdup? Why no progress on this site? Today we're getting answers. Jean Menard and her kids spend hours at Lafayette Public Libraries each week. This is our safe, quiet space to work. We utilize computers here. We utilize Wi-Fi here. The kids get fiction books to read for fun and non-fiction books to read for school. It gives children the access to something that they may not normally have um, outside of the school um, atmosphere. You know, it, it's available. Uh, evenings and weekends. The library also provides educational programming for adults and free workspaces like this room where we conducted one of our interviews. You know, it's a vital resource. A resource uh, that everyone should have easy access to. But people in one part of town say they're missing out on a nearby branch. I think we have nine total in the, in the entire parish, not a single one on the eastern side of the Evangeline Thruway or US 9049, depending on what part you're on. $8 million was set aside to afford this Northeastern region its own library. Now, a few years after taxpayers decided against a tax supporting libraries, the board says they had no choice but to put the new branch and other projects on hold. Since after 2018, we're, we, you know, now our budget is running um, in a deficit. We're, you know, we're losing money and we're dishing more money out than we're taking in. So, you know, we build that new library. We have to staff that library. We have utilities and all that good stuff that go into the mix. So we're expanding something, but we don't have the money to, you know, to operate it. To me, that's, you know, that, that's an issue. It's a few issues now facing the Library Control Board, LCG, and those who can vote in Lafayette Parish, a community not being serviced because the libraries aren't being funded the way they once were. And if you aren't one of those eight board members, there's really just one thing you can do to have a say in what's next. You need to be calling your parish council member or your city council member. If you have relationships with other council members, call them and encourage them to support this initiative because it's that important. Now, if you haven't been to a local library in a while, why not stop by, visit one sometime this week? Of course, for National Library Week, but also just to see all the different things that you can do at the library, all the different resources you'll have access to with a library card. It's, it's pretty cool, all of the stuff that you can see and do and have and make and be there. So even if you're not um, a library card holder here in Lafayette Parish, all of the adjacent parishes, people that live in those can also get library cards in Lafayette Parish right now. Um, it's also just free to visit, even if you don't have a library card and just want to go check it out, ask some questions. So we'll have some more details later on this morning about exactly what you can do at the library and all of the resources they have. So stay with us for that. Reporting live in Lafayette, Abby Breidenbach, KATC TV3.